All right. Uh, well, I've always loved to be an architect, and uh, something that uh, probably about the age of eight or nine, I just uh, had those aspirations. Uh, my uh, father was a, uh, a builder and a carpenter, and I kind of grew up uh, building projects with him, uh, a variety of different scales and, and, and materials. And uh, we lived uh, kind of in a country environment uh, along a river, uh, wooded setting situation. And um, uh, at the same time, I've, I've loved natural materials and uh, uh, wood and rock, things like that. So um, through my um, education at Iowa State and uh, following that forward, uh, I've always been a, um, I have an affectionate um, uh, thoughts for the prairie style architecture of Frank Lloyd Wright and how he used massing and materials to go forward. Um, while his materials and architecture are, are uh, breathtaking and, and magnificent, um, they also have a, a, a little bit of deference to today's lifestyle environments and what people are truly looking, looking for. So as we've uh, kind of taken some of our architecture forward through the years, starting with residential and then working into uh, larger uh, uh, corporate clients and institutional clients, trying to use some of that uh, earthiness and alignment of the earth with, uh, with the particulars of what, the, what those projects required. And so um, um, probably about 15 years ago, I did sort of my first uh, endeavors in, in what I'm now calling the Nebuchadnezzar style, which is um, a, a collection of materials and uh, um, processes that we see of how to form architecture, and it kind of starts with the site, uh, true alignment of, of the program with the site, how do we maximize the site, and then start to tie in natural materials uh, to that situation using things like native limestone, uh, wood, cypress, cedar, um, broad overhangs, um, and how that can be integrated into sunlight into the, into the spaces. Um, the other kind of integration of this has been um, uh, sustainable architecture as it's known today. Back in the, my earlier times, we called it uh, more active and passive solar uh, architecture. But uh, how the sunlight uh, comes into the space, how it's sh uh, shaded at certain times, uh, and how you let the direct sunlight come into the spaces deeper at other times uh, throughout, the, throughout the year. So um, whether it's um, the lighting, uh, the use of the materials, how um, the light penetrates the space, uh, how the building materials are assembled in terms of insulation values. Um, all these kind of start to create an integral play in how you assemble them uh, in architecture. And so the Nebuchadnezzar style is trying to take all these different uh, criteria and then form solutions that are humanistic and, and inviting and warm to uh, uh, to the user and, and to the uh, occupant as well as the, the passerby.